It was the Friday after Thanksgiving, and Doug Flutie authored one of the most memorable plays in college football history. On the final play, he found Gerard Phelan in the end zone and beat Miami in the Orange Bowl. BC hasn't beaten Miami since. And today, Miami comes to Boston College unbeaten. Ken Dorsey has thrown more touchdown passes than any of the Miami greats. The Canes are California dreaming. And the basic eye formation against a 4-3 defense at BC. Only four men rush, and Dorsey's wobbler is caught by Kevin Beard. And that's a first down at the 34-yard line. Dorsey, the junior. Runs that delay again, and Porter's breaks free for another first down across midfield. Trevor White, the corner, makes the stop. 32 as Dorsey wings it, and there's the tight end, and there's 11 more yards. There's Jeremy Shockey, the junior from 8 Oklahoma, his 29th catch of the season. He third down and nine from the gun. Time drilled it perfectly to Andre Johnson, his first catch of the game. He was wide open, first down for the Canes, and back off of it. Late come, complete first down to the 40-yard line, Sands. Two interceptions. And back with Portis. And the middle opens to the formation. Got it. First down to the 30-yard line. Shockey slipping off to the right. He All right, Gary, here's that field goal. Well, you said low. It was low and slow. This was a changeup. This is bad, and it just crawled over. I mean, one more yard farther back, this thing has no chance. I, I like you, Brent. I thought, first of all, Portis ran badly. Very bad decision on third down, and I thought they should have gone for it. All right, stick right with us here. Here's the uh, handoff now to Derek Knight. Gain a couple of yards or so. And uh, the game, I love playing it. Well, here's third down stuff, so your team's going to be punting, and then we're going to turn you loose. But uh, one final thing. Tell us about the ball, isn't it? They come back with Portis on the draw play, sprinting out to the yeah, yeah. left and short of the in the fourth quarter. And there's the quick hitch Great to read. Andre Johnson for the first down, sustained drives. Dorsey steps to the right. And wide open on the sideline was Beard. Open to the side. So they settle for another field goal. Todd Seavers. It's a 24-yarder, and it is six nothing, Miami. It's a little bit different than high school defenses. St. Pierre has it picked off by Fitzgerald. Marquis Fitzgerald just snapped it away, and the senior from St. Petersburg, in as a nickel man, makes St. Pierre pay on that play. What a good-looking defense this is. Really, is. down for Dorsey. Dumps it to Portis as he was being hit. And Portis gains 12 yards as he crosses midfield. First down and 10 now. Play fake. Dorsey starting to move, and here's Davenport. Crosses the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back completions. So this will be a 43-yarder for Sabres. Waves it up there beautifully for his third field goal. What a kicking game they had. Todd Seavers makes it a 9-0 game here inside of a minute. That's a first down for BC across the 45. Did not fake everybody out. And for a loss, that was Jerome McDougal, the junior from Pompano, and he did not buy the play fake. Either stadium. Dorsey will throw back to Portis. First down. Woo, that's Big a time run by 28. What would you? Six. Now run for Portis. Got it. Middle. Great call by Miami. Just not in sync with his passing game today. Here's the 47-yarder. He's already hit three field goals. Man. Now he's four. Man. Man. Todd Sievers. Makes it a 12-7 game. Miami without a touchdown against Boston College. Play fake fumble. St. Pierre's got it on the run, and he's down at the 11, but he bobbled the ball. And McDougal 
in on the stop. So here's a fourth down decision. And Gary with 10 minutes. Really quarterback, you have to run the ball. That big offensive line rated the best in the country. And now this running back has to come through. Miami needs a drive, and they need to do it on the ground. And folks, it's third and 12, and they're going to run for it. Portis keeps going for the first down. One of the biggest runs of the year for Miami. Shockey gets his block at the end. Church, you can't get there. Portis, what a wonderful run by Trenton Portis. First down. So Dorsey comes through, sands the receiver, the junior from Carroll City, Florida. 342 to go. And Miami again moving that clock. Dorsey from the gun. Pocket collapsing. High. First down. First down. And it was ethnic sands again. The pump fake and rumps all, all the way. Yep. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth down. BC can still get a first down inside the 20. A 10 yard gain will give them a fresh set of downs. 49 ticks of the clock. 10's the important number. Dwight's got it inside the 10. Holy cow! It's first and goal from the nine yard line. 43 seconds to go. 21 yards to Walt makes a beautiful catch. Beautiful catch. How about that throw? That was coverage. Decent coverage, and that ball was put in the only spot it could go. No timeouts. Clock starts to run again. Three wide for St. Pierre. Back slam. Intercepted on a ricochet. Intercepted by Matt Walters on the ricochet. Lateral to it off to Edward Reed. And Reed will dash into the end zone. Oh, what a turn of events as Miami on a ricochet. Folks, you won't believe it. On the interception, Miami is saved. The slant was ricocheted to the defensive lineman. And then the lateral as Mike Rump comes up big again. Rump made the play on the initial ricochet. He cut inside the slant, and that was what made the ricochet. Watch Rump right here cut inside the player. He reads the slant, cuts inside, makes the play, it pops up. It's intercepted inside by, was it Walters? Walters yes. has the pick. And Big Reed says, give me that ball. I'm the playmaker around here. And he goes the whole way. A classic and a heartbreak for Boston College. I thought the strategy was good by Boston College not to ground the ball. A lot of times you can catch a defense sleeping when they think you're going to ground it. Rump gets inside, doesn't make the catch, but he beat the receiver to the spot, and that won the game. Two huge plays by Rump towards the end of this game. If Miami makes it to the Rose Bowl, and Coach O'Brien can't do a thing about it as Reed goes downfield. Play that they'll open the Rose Bowl with. Boston College driving for the touchdown and the young man who caught the ricochet <laughs> and then had it stolen by his own teammate <laughs> Reed who went the distance for a touchdown you can't ask How about takes it in for a touchdown the crowd is stunned you know the crowd gave him a nice hand though gave Boston College a nice hand well they should play. absolutely and they should give Miami a nice hand too both these teams Played hard here today. And you know what? On fourth down, field goal wins this game. They had a chip. So it is Heartbreak Hotel and the survival game for Coker and Miami. 18 7. That is our final score. Miami stays unbeaten.
but they had to do it the hard way, folks. At ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Keyword, ABC Sports. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report after this from our ABC station. So long, everybody.